I just made a bad, yeah, I'm up the sun Put up in a foreign dawn, yeah, I'm up the sun With that work, flip that bag, yeah, we up the sun What's going on, guys? So, uh, we installed this unit about a month ago And the reason why we're here is because we have to basically recover the refrigerant Cut it out and put it like this The reason why it's not like that is because there's an exhaust here exhaust and if i would have put it like that the exhaust would have been hitting the condenser the coil and the coil would have eventually got rusty eventually would have caused caused some leaks over time so this is the reason why we're you know i'm going to show you how to recover and how to weigh it back in i'm pretty in other videos you guys see how we flare and everything so you're gonna see that too but the main focus is recovery and and how to weigh in all right guys so um this is how you run a recovery it's only one port so usually it's two ports when you if you ever seen other videos and you're like yeah they don't we don't many splits only have one port only very few different systems have two okay so it goes it comes from the get from the system to the gauges goes to the inside of the recovery machine out the recovery machine into the cylinder this is what the weight of the unit is i haven't i haven't so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit tear to zero it out i'm not going to turn the system on because there is no pressure in there turn the system on. So it's basically it's gonna it's gonna pull into the cylinder and matches the pressure to the unit. Then we turn the recovery tank on. So if you pay attention to this Going slow. Let's do it. I'm gonna turn the tip. I said there's a hole, man. But I can't find it. Man. Oh, I found it. Alright. Nobody, this this 3A piece is brand new. Nobody like using it. Everybody think they can bend it with their hands. But look how clean that look. I want you on a perfect. That's just me. You crazy. Crazy. Oh, oh, we got pipes going everywhere. We got pipes everywhere. Boom. Told you. Told you. Told you, Pop. Watch this. I am good. You're learning. I told you I'm the best helper in the world. You're good.
we had to extend the whip since we moved the unit. We also got to ex extend the communication. Alright guys, so they, they don't recommend you to change, I mean to extend communication wire because it's DC. DC is a, a direct current. So it looks like it's flat line. Flat line. So they, they recommend if, if you have to do it, which we have to because we have to move the unit. These are called butt connectors. That's how you do it. Hooking the power up with the communication. Vacuum's on 490. Four, oh, it's dropping. 485 microns. I'm about to weigh the refrigerant in. Alright, uh, I'm about to weigh back in. Always purge it. I already purged it before I record it, so sorry about that. But you always purge out the air. Alright, so everything is done. We, we charge the system. Final thing I do is I always check the Delta T. In every video, if I do, if I do an AC, this will be 90% of the time, this clip will be inside the video. So we got a 22 degree split. It's 55. Okay. All right. Now let's go check the return. All right. So the, temp the delta T. I know in the, the other half I said it was 22. It's 21 now. So the difference, the reason why you do delta T is because you need the difference between the temperature before the coil and after the coil, which should be 18 to 22. Ideally, you want it to be 20. So that's that's how you tell the difference. That's how you know the system is cooling properly in a proper airflow. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for today. You know, we just had to rearrange some things. Um, if you guys got any questions, you know, or tips that you can give me if you're, if you're another HVAC guy, please don't, don't be shy to comment below. That's it. See you guys tomorrow.